Daystar Day 2014. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Paw Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regas, outreach astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. For nearly 40 years, Jack Horkheimer and Al we have been encouraging you to celebrate Day Star Day. Get up before dawn and experience a great star rise over our Earth's horizon. A star so huge, we could fit over one and a quarter million Earths inside it. It sounds simple enough, but few people ever pay close enough attention to ever really experience the rising of the only star we can see in the daytime. A star we call the Sun. A star we like to call our Day Star. This year, we suggest you celebrate Day Star Day on the morning of the summer solstice, Saturday, June 21st. The timing is about perfect this year because the moment of the summer solstice is at 6.51 a.m. Eastern Time. It's a great way to start your weekend. Now, I'll bet that some of you are thinking that we're talking about a sunrise and that you've seen thousands of them. But even though you may think you've seen thousands of sunrises, very few people have ever taken the time to completely experience what's happening all around them as the sun rises. Because sunrise involves a complex series of steps as night slowly turns into dawn and finally into day. And if you follow our simple instructions, you'll be amazed at what you've missed because you'll experience one of the grandest events in nature, which most people ignore. To participate, here is all you have to do. Simply get up 15 minutes before twilight begins, while it's still dark out on the day you've chosen. And whether you live in the heart of a city or out in the country makes no difference because it's not the sun itself you're going to observe, but the effects of sunrise on everything around you as your part of the world slowly turns from night into day. It's better to be outside, but if not, just sit by an open window. Now for the rules, which are absolutely essential. No internet, no television no doing your normal wake-up routine. All distractions must be eliminated. Simply sit quietly inside or outside, and when you see the sky slowly start to brighten, look, listen, and feel what happens all around you, because a sunrise is more than visual. Watch the delicate interplay of light, color, and shadow. But also listen, and you'll hear the sounds of our world as its creatures are waking up. You'll feel the wind change, the temperature change, and much, much more. If you do get out before dawn on the 21st, you'll surely notice two bright lights in the eastern sky. The upper one is the waning crescent moon, and the planet Venus is about seven degrees lower. Look off to the left of Venus, and you'll spot a tight little cluster of stars that sorta, kinda looks like a tiny little dipper. It wasn't that long ago that we were enjoying these stars in the evening sky. Remember what they're called? That's right, the Pleiades, the Seven Sisters. On the morning of June 24th, Venus and the Pleiades will be joined by a thin crescent moon, giving us one of the most spectacular planet moon scoochies of the summer. We're giving you advance warning, so be sure to get up in time to see it. Another thing to look for while you're waiting for the sun to rise is the Big Dipper. Look north and you'll see the Dipper low on the horizon at the bottom of its path around the North Star. This will only work for those of you who live far enough north. James and the other folks in Florida are just out of luck. Keep track of all the subtle changes you notice and record your observations on paper or into a voice recorder. Then read or listen to your observations a few days later. Believe me, if you've never done this before, you'll be absolutely amazed at what a star rise over a small planet can do for you. Of course, remember to never look directly at the sun at any time only observe the effects of the sunrise on the world around you. I truly think that you'll gain a whole different perspective of your place on this planet and our planet's place in the universe. Happy Daystar Day, my friends, and keep, keep looking, looking up. up.